Hey everybody, Christian Karaswitz here. I wanted to take a moment and answer a reader's question that they had emailed to me. Their question was, how do I take a screenshot? And since they didn't provide me with, you know, if they're on Windows um, or a Mac, uh, a Mac system, uh, I wanted to cover both for you because they're both very helpful. Um, not everybody's always going to be on a PC. Not everyone's always going to be on a Mac. Um, so let's get started here. If you're on a, uh, again, by the way, these are tips that you can do um, with your current version of Windows or uh, Mac OS X. They are not tools that you have to go out and buy, which is a very, very good thing. Um, so to get started, let's cover the PC landscape. Um, if I am on Windows XP, I'm somewhat limited by my options, but my best option right now out of the box is going to be um, opening up a website, for instance, like what I have here, and hitting Alt and hold the Alt key and hit the print screen key. Um, so basically, like I said, Alt and the print screen key. And what this will do is it takes an entire screenshot of everything that's on your screen. And once you've done this, your next step, it's a two-step process, is to go to Start and to go to Programs and then Accessories and to open up Microsoft Paint. And at this point, we're going to, uh, you can either do a shortcut of Control V um, or you can go Edit and select Paste. So Control V is your shortcut to paste an object. In this case, we have taken a picture of our desktop and we are pasting it into Microsoft Paint. Um, and at that point, you want to hit Save As and save it as whichever file type you want. Um, typically, I like to save my files as, if I'm on a PC, a JPEG or a GIF. Um, if I'm on a Mac, um, I, I usually save them as PNG files. So that's your first option for Windows XP users. Now, when you ramp up to Windows 7 and Windows Vista, you have a lot more options here. Um, you're still going to use the whole you can either go the option of Alt Print Screen and then paste it into Microsoft Paint. Or if you want to get more fancy, you can. Uh, they've included a snipping tool, which is really nice. And what this will allow you to do is basically you'll go to Start, Programs, and Accessories, and you'll select Snipping Tool. And what this will do is it will give you the ability, for instance, uh, if I wanted to make a, a screen capture of like this little square here, I would be able to select just that and not the entire page. Um, the same thing for this piece of this logo, if I wanted to grab that. So um, it'll let me get a little more granular with what I have there. So um, once you've done that, you know, again, it will take your uh, screenshot and then um, let you, you know, cut out, see what it is you want. And in the snipping tool, you'll hit File, Save As, or you can hit the Save icon and save your image. So there you have it. That's how to take a screenshot with... Uh, a PC. Now, for anyone that's um, that's on a Mac, the options are a little bit different. Um, it's it's pretty neat. Um, so there are quite a few. So I'm going to kind of run through what some of these are. So basically, your first option on a Mac is, again, like on a PC, I want to take a whole screenshot. Um, on a Mac, I hit Command Shift Three, and what this will do is it will take an entire screenshot of what I have here. Um, and it will save it to my desktop, okay? Um, if I want to get a little more fancier and I want to select just certain areas, I can hit Shift Command 4, sorry, Command Shift 4, my bad. Um, this will allow me to, it'll bring up a crosshair and what this will allow me to do is it'll allow me to save that particular item um, that I want. So for instance, Command Shift 3 is the entire page on a Mac, Command Shift 4, will let me select exactly what I want. For instance, I can select this area. I can select this area. Again, it gives me a square. Um, another option you have on a Mac is um, to use Command, Shift, 4, and the space bar. So again, you hold Command, you hit Shift, you hold, hit the number 4, and then hit Space. And what this will do is um, then you can click a window, and it'll take a screenshot of the window and save it as a file on the desktop. Okay, so for instance, if I've got a little small pop-up box, maybe it was something that might be just this big, um, I can hit Command-Shift-4 in space, and that'll save that. Um, going a little further deeper into that, though, there are some really uh, neat little things you can do. For instance, like if you're ever working between um, Adobe Photoshop, you can hold Command-4 
control shift three and that will take a screenshot uh, of what you have basically this is doing the same thing as command shift three but this time instead of saving it to your desktop it saves into virtual memory and then you can go into like say photoshop and paste it um, adding the same functionality to the command shift four option command control shift four um, this will give me the ability to select a specific area and then um, save it to memory and then I can go like paste that, for instance, into an email, um, into Photoshop, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the last thing I wanted to kind of cover with this is um, using Command Control Shift Four. So this is a like a third way. Um, and if I click a window, this will basically do the same thing as if I hit 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 uh, Command Control Shift. Uh, sorry, Command uh, Shift Four and space, and we'll save that. Um, to, you know, memory, okay? So again, you've got two options to save directly um, one to the, or sorry, two options to save your desktop, um, two more options to save to the clipboard, and then um, two options to basically take a shot of a window. So there you have it. That's how to take uh, screenshots. Um, I'm going to try to do this here real quick and just give you a, a run out of the Mac ones. But uh, since I'm recording this, it's kind of hard to do all these things because they use the same commands. So if I hit, for instance, Command Shift 4 there, you see what it brought up. It brought up the crosshairs. And what's nice is that you know, I can literally go in and highlight, hey, I want to take a picture of just that. And now um, that will be uh, save as a file on my desktop. Um, Again, I can get into doing a lot more fancier things and whatnot with that. So there you have it. Um, that's how to use, uh, to take screenshots, both on a PC and a Mac. If you have any questions, if things aren't clear, do please get in touch with me, um, either on my YouTube channel, on my Facebook page, send me a tweet, send me an email, etc. Thank you very much.